Hey guys, welcome back. Onesie here. Today we're going to talk about Mantine. Mantine's quite OP in this meta. No one knows that yet, but Mantine is a flying and water type, guys. Mantine's a flying and water type. Let's have a look at its Pokemon stats. At max CP, Mantine is 2108 CP when it maxes out with a good base stats. So let's have a look at these rankings for its attack, defense, and stamina stats. So Mantine's attack stats, which is 287 out of 516. Mantine's defense stats is quite high in the ranking. As you can see, 27 out of 516. That is one of the most good reason that you can bring in a Mantine into this Rainbow Cup. Also, 235 out of 516 stamina stats. I'll talk to you guys why this is really viable for this Rainbow Cup. Alright guys, let's have a look why Mantine is viable for this cup. Okay, being a flying and water type, Mantine's weak against the electric and rock type. Okay, not many weakness Mantine, but there's a lot of strength for mantine if you bring a mantine okay so all the bug types gonna be weak to mantine bug fighting fire ground teal and water okay all the bugs are weak to flying type remember that before we move into moveset let's go and check best iv for your pvp cup okay so basically a hundo 15 15 15 iv stats which is not useful in this meta okay so you shouldn't have a uh, Mantine in a PvP cup with a 100% IV because it ranks like somewhere around 3000, okay? So to have a good Mantine in your PvP cup, you must have a 0, 15, 14 IV with a 1500 CP. That gives a good base test for your PvP cup, okay? So level 27.5 is the best that you can go up to because of its defense stats. Having a 15 defense in your IV and 14 stamina stats, it gives a lot of damage, can tank a lot of damage. Okay, alright guys, let's move into the pvpoke.com. As you can see, they ranked Mantine as number 19 because of its lead. Okay, because of its lead and the attacking stats. Okay, also defense as well. But the thing is, the movesets you must have on a Mantine is wing attack. You can also go with the bubble, but wing attack is the best one that I would advise you guys to use. And also, you must have two charge moves, ice beam and aerial ace. Because a lot of Pokemon will be weak to Aero Ace. Let's move into the key matchups, guys. Okay, before we go into the battle simulation, let's talk about some key matchups. People will be bringing in Charizard mostly because of his legacy move. Blastman does a lot of damage. Not only that, Grass types going to be really weak to the Flying type. Obviously, Grass can take the water damage, but if you are using a Wing Attack in your Antine, you can take them grass types down so quickly, okay? So the top count is going to be Raichu, Magneton, Electrobuzz, Raikou and Jolteon. So I don't think a lot of people will be bringing in Electrobuzz or Jolteon, but you will see a Raikou, Legendary Light Raikou in there, but its charge move takes a lot of time to like uh, power up and stuff. So if you see a Raikou, not a problem. You can swap around, play around to like uh, beat that Raikou anyway. But a lot of people will have a Raichu and Magneton. Those two Pokemon comes with Legacy Moveset as well. So you might see them, you might not see them. If you do see them, just be worried about it because they are your top counter, okay? Also, there will be a Lantern with charge moves such as uh, Thunderbolt and Thunder could like damage you. So, so Lantern will be there to counter you a lot more than any of these here. Just be careful, guys. Let's go into the battle simulation. Alright guys, so let's go into the battle simulation. So obviously Mantine goes, goes with the wing attack as a fast move, every ace and ice beam. And also go with the water pulse. Uh, I'd, uh, I would advise you guys to go with the ice beam because ice beam does quite a bit of damage too. Alright, so Charizard against the Mantine. So fire spin Charizard with blast spin and dragon claw. Quite straight straightforward. Let's simulate the battle. Okay guys, so as you can see Charizard faints against the Ice Beam Mantine, okay? So, Blastman takes some of your health anyway, half of your health, because Blastman as a moveset 
is quite strong on a Charizard and you go with the Ice Beam and couple of Wing Attack, game over for your uh, enemy Charizard. Okay, so Charizard can go down easily without any shield. Let's go with one shield scenario with Charizard using a sh uh, shield. As you can see, there's a chance that you or your enemy can faint at the same time or one of you can faint. It's just really tight game as well. Charizard, your enemy using one shield, you already won the game there because you have two shields available as well as two other Pokemon against your opponent's two other Pokemon. Okay, so in order to for you to take a Mantine into a game, you must have a Mantine support counter your enemy. Okay, all right, let's go with something different to see how this works out for your Mantine. Okay, let's go uh, Rock Tom. As far as I know, a lot of people will be using Earthquake on their Fortress because of the main matchup. But if they do bring a Rock Tom and Heavy Slam Fortress, just be careful guys. It will surprise you with that Stone Edge. Stone Edge does a lot of damage. Okay guys, so as you can see, Bug is weak to flying, right? So therefore, Aero Ace does a lot of damage against the Fortress. As you can see, Rock Tom done 50 damage, which cleared out a lot of your health there. But then again, even with the Heavy Slam, your Mantine survives that battle. Okay, let's go with the Earthquake Fortress. Without uh, any shields. As you can see, still Mantine wins that game, even though heavy, two Heavy Slams in your face leaves you with 32 HP and still there's no shields you still have two shields available and your opponent but still you have energy advantage so as you can see there's a lot of energy advantage yeah so fortress will go down even with without any shield so let's have a look at another matchup people will bring in a lantern for your mantine obviously a lot of people will be using a water gun on a lantern if they bring a charge beam lantern it's game over for you water gun shouldn't be a problem so let's simulate this game against a lantern mantine loses the match because of that thunderbolt guys okay thunderbolt does a lot of damage all right so just be careful what are you gonna do when you see a Thunderbolt coming at your face, okay? If you think that you can use a shield to finish off the lantern, you can do that. Uh, if they, if you use a shield, obviously they will use a shield. And plus remember you have more energy advantage than the lantern. So there's a lot of uh, water gun fast move to do in order to get a thunderbolt anyway. Remember that guys. You can still win against the lantern, but you need to be very cheeky on your shield area, okay? Alright, let's have a look at something people might bring in against the Mantine. Let's say Venusaur. Alright guys, let's see if Venusaur can survive against uh, Mantine because this Mantine's been a flying type. Venusaur could lose the matchup, but we'll simulate the match and see how this works out for them. Alright guys, as you can see, straightforward. Mantine wins the matchup here again with 34 HP. Within 23 seconds, Mantine wins that battle against the Venusaur. Like I said here, you can farm your energy on this Venusaur rather than uh, finishing it off with the Ice Beam. The way you can do this by using a shield when Venusaur comes with a Frenzy Plant, right? So when you use a shield with the Frenzy Plant and you don't use any energy attack and you can manually uh, get these Venusaur down with the fast moves okay even you're using a shield you can farm up a lot more with your mantine so remember that and there's a grass type of course you're being a water and flying because you're using a fast move such as wing attack you can farm a lot of energy for the next pokemon your opponent's going to bring in okay so it's all about the gamble that why you have to do in order to win this matchup okay let's have a look at another pokemon before we end this video Alright guys, let's have a look at this matchup, which is Osmero with Bubble, player off an Ice Beam, no shield, and let's simulate and have a look what's going on. Okay guys, uh, as you can see, Mantine loses this matchup because of Osmero's player off, okay? Player off does a lot, quite a bit of damage, as well as the Water Bubble. Bubble does like 3 damage, but the Bubble can get a lot of uh, energy stacked up for your player off. If you don't use a shield against this player off, game over for you guys. It's either the player off or the ice beam. If they use the ice beam, you win this matchup. If they don't use ice beam and go with the player off, it's game over for you guys. So just be careful against the Osmero. Switch when when it's easy for you. The reason why I'm saying that, Osmero is quite tanky in stamina stats, okay? Mantine might be really 
tanky in defense stats but when it comes to stamina stats Azumaru's a king okay king of this top all right guys let's have a look at one more one more matchup before we end this video basically let's put a pokemon all right guys let's have a look at a mirror matchup against mantine okay mantine against mantine let's have a look at mirror matchup and see how this ends up for your mantine as you can see your mantine and your enemy mantine can faint quickly depends on the charge move priority okay if you have a charge move priority you win if you don't have it put it into a mantine counter before they uh, send you a charge move okay so that way you can win this matchup by holding on to your energy and taking an ice beam on a countered pokemon okay so just be careful on the mirror matchup you need to know a little strats where you can swap on a mirror matchup like this when it comes to a mantine you see that animation guy in seventh time so make sure you swap your mantine into a mantine counter so you can win this matchup easily remember you saved up a lot of energy on your mantine so you can bring in your mantine by sacrificing your other pokemon if they still attacking you or if they swap to a counter your other pokemon and bring your mantine after it faints and destroy your enemy's pokemon because you still have shields and whatnot okay just play smart guys so anyway thanks for watching this video i think i covered enough of different matchup for your mantine and yeah so good luck with your pvp and let me know how your pvp goes uh this upcoming week because usually a lot of people will do pvp during weekends because not many people can do pvp during the weekdays but yeah so let me know down in comment and all right guys just comment down below and tell me how you've done against your enemy with your six pokemons that you've chosen and what kind of strategies you use to beat your opponent stuff like that and even if you trained against your friend and stuff like that let me know how well did you did and yeah don't forget to subscribe and like this video yeah guys this out peace out <laughs>